Well, we've taken a biological hostile environment and uh, we've turned this into a very clean, hygienic environment. We've used the uh, Biosheen system of modern forensic restoration and we've had scores into the hundreds and hundreds and brought those down, not only just into single digits, but zeros throughout. So this is clean room clean. Take that, huh? That's what we want. What this is, it's a loss of life incident. Loss of life in the world of forensics are four types of death. Homicide, suicide, accidental, and natural. This is a natural death. Uh, human decomposition begins at approximately four minutes after death. He was here for approximately two weeks. Variables on this is we have cross-contamination from first responders. Transfer from tracking happens for a minimum of 20 feet from the side of the body. Then we've got cross biocontamination from vectors, those are flies, and there was a dog here. Okay, dogs have to eat. And we'll visibly see where the dog's diet changed. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to start this pathogenic knockdown with an EPA registered hospital grade tuberculocidal disinfectant proven to kill both gram-negative, gram-positive bacteria and inactivate both enveloped and non-enveloped viruses, but it also has a surfactant in it, which will cause that to adhere itself to surfaces, both vertical and horizontal, and lessen that chance of something going airborne. So when that is loaded and this is loaded and we have the base, that's it for today. Tomorrow we'll get into the rest of it, pulling carpets and everything, and then we'll get into cleaning and disinfecting. Sunday is simply a day for forensic cleaning, disinfecting, showing different delivery systems how and why we do things in a professional manner. helps when you have a team of professionals. I mean, these people got this house cleared out in about three hours. Now it's just, you know, some detail work of removing tax strip and everything, and then tomorrow we'll come in and start our actual cleaning process. The tasks that we uh, want to accomplish this morning are the final removal of the tax strip, and the sweeping and dusting of the uh, subfloors right through there to prepare them for wet washing, which we'll be doing at over 220 degrees, utilizing a mobile cleaning plant. We'll wash that and then dry it, and then we'll have nice surfaces, and we're not tracking and transferring soils from one area to the other or any type of, any type of pathogens. When you reach 200 degrees, you've just increased your cleaning proficiency and efficiency by 3,000%. Then we've got these rooms free to dry clean all of our structural surfaces and their dry cleaning prepares us for wet cleaning. It's interesting to work with a professional that, you know, like Jeff Jones, that's uh, so detailed and, and the way that he goes about his business, very detail-oriented, which is the way you need to be. Uh, this is absolutely a clean house right now, but now what we've done is pre uh, prepared all surfaces for professional disinfecting. Remember, there's pre-disinfecting, there's forensic cleaning, which is the dry cleaning, and then wet cleaning to prepare surfaces for professional disinfecting. Professional disinfecting is the application of an EPA-registered hospital-grade tuberculocidal disinfectant with a six-long kill, proven to kill both gram-negative, gram-positive bacteria, all known pathogens, and inactivate. Notice I said inactivate, not kill. You cannot kill a virus. It's not a living organism. It's a humpy. user-friendly now.
now, and I feel comfortable walking off of this scenario that anyone could come in here. And I've said this before, I absolutely will not pull off an incident site until I'm comfortable that you can open a daycare center there the next day. There's not a pathogen on this planet that we can't negotiate.